watch Heat Wave before anyone else? Well, there's an easy way to do that. Just back us up on Patreon at patreon.com slash half empty e tank and be the first to watch the episodes. Hi, welcome. Take it to the core. <laughs> Walnuts, peanuts, pineapple smells. <laughs> Grapes, melons, oranges, and coconut shells. God damn it. Welcome to Heat Wave. <laughs> Anime titties. <laughs> for the last segment for this week's episode, I want to talk about uh, video game remakes. Anime <laughs> video game remakes. Uh, we can remake some anime titties game. if you want. <laughs> uh, there's been a lot of video, video game, game remakes. <laughs> Final Fantasy VII, the remake just came out. Resident Evil 3 remake just came out recently. Mm -hmm. um, what video game do you think is the most deserving to get a remake? Donkey Kong 64. Okay. No surprise there. <laughs> I wanted to see Donkey Kong 64, but with like God of War graphics. <laughs> okay. Oh just, God. I just want to see awesome. a fucking ripped ass gorilla <laughs> just blasting people with a coconut gun. You know, that, what's great is that is the game where they gave all of them real life animal noises too. <laughs> yeah. Like Donkey Kong 64 is the only time Donkey Kong, except maybe Smash, has like real life gorilla oh, noises. Really? I yeah. Know that. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Uh, but yeah, what do you guys think? Does anyone here have a game that they would like to get remade? Altered Beast. <laughs> Ooh, okay. <laughs> but you know they did that, though. It's a what? There's a PS2 game. Are you talking about the fighting game? Yeah. <laughs> You're, that's not an Altered Beast remake. You're thinking, are you thinking about Primal Rage? No, I'm talking about Altered Beast, the Sega, uh, game? Sega Genesis side-scrolling beat-em-up. Yeah, that's on PS2. Where you become a werewolf. Yeah, that's on PS2. Well, they made a version. I don't yeah. think it's a <laughs> remake. We're remaking games that are on the PS2. Yeah. <laughs> you're right, you're right. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so instead of remaking a... I like how I got defensive for a second and then was like, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> this is some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> wow, way to be a jerk. <laughs> yeah, sorry. No, that'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off with your Titanic yeah, looking ass. <laughs> <laughs> you do it, like so I need to play the whistle. <laughs> if you keep behaving like this, I'm not gonna paint you like one of my. Not gonna girls. paint me like one of his French girls. Oh, he clicked out, and I was like, I thought he was literally going to paint on me, and I was just like, what? Do we? I can paint. That, we that's for the remake of Titanic. Oh, that's right. I'm here. I'm here. For they the did re remake Titanic in 3D. <laughs> <laughs> you guys remember that when they were going through like they were weirdly like we're gonna like re-release all these movies in 3d mm -hmm. titanic was one of them <laughs> yeah i they, didn't i heard they, no. they made a sequel yeah. to titanic mm -hmm. or, or something yeah. like titanic 2 still tote <laughs> 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 I can't get it the ship strikes back <laughs> <laughs> titanic 2 still tannic <laughs> That's not funny. Nobody laughed. I didn't. <laughs> I'm laughing. Oh, man. It's been a hundred years. It's okay. Tragedy plus time equals Too extra soon. tragedy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, all I'm saying is icebergs can't melt steel hulls. Mm. 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 This is going some places. <laughs> this is my favorite video game remake so far. By the way, have you, has anyone here played all the shitty Titanic games? There's so no. many no. shitty <laughs> Titanic games that were made for the NES. That's amazing. My favorite one is where you get to play as Rose to uh, uh, save Jack while the like water is filling up on the uh, boat. I thought Titanic came out after the NES. I it did. It would be like a PlayStation. <laughs> he said it did. It did. They went back and made an NES game. <laughs> yeah, it's a Chinese knockoff Titanic <laughs> NES game. They were like, this won't work for the PlayStation, but <laughs> what if we went back Perfect to be remade. a couple consoles? And yeah, that sounds terrible. Hutch, you got anything? Uh, I, mm, you, you know, I was going to say Sonic 2, but they've already kind of remade those stages in various games. You know? Well, on top so... of that, the Chris Whitehead version just needs to coming out on a fucking console and not be stuck to a mobile 
But um, yeah, wow. it, yeah, that would be good. The Let's finished Sonic Two. Yeah, the there's a definitive version of Sonic the Hedgehog Two, and it's <clears throat> only on mobile, with no fucking buttons. Mm-hmm. How about it's, we make up Sonic CD? Sonic CD is kind of. You mean like a Whoa. like a, a a repathing of it? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. <laughs> What about that. you? What's Guitar going? Man. Okay. Guitar <laughs> Man absolutely needs <laughs> a remake. Not Samba de Amigo? Uh, hold on. I've got multiple games. Uh, <laughs> just let her go. <laughs> but so, uh, Samba de Amigo... Ne- oh, I was working up to Samba de Amigo. Samba de Amigo needs to be a VR game. Uh, it needs to be like a beat uh, saber comp- uh, competitor. I too would like to <clears throat> knock the layups off the tables Please. and throw up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please make more VR games. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have no room to talk. You already don't like VR games. Exactly. For those reasons. <laughs> well, you don't like rhythm games either. This is not for you. <laughs> I did. I did punch the wall playing Gorn. <laughs> you did punch the wall playing what? Gorn? Oh, the, yeah. Like, arena. Yeah. I like that game. <sighs> it's a fun game, but I also punched the wall. <laughs> well, that the happens. The key is that you have to set your foot box smaller than your arm reach. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you have a white, you have a big wingspan. I've got, I've got a wide wingspan. Yeah. So fun fact, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to announce something that I've never told. Uh, I, I punched Hutch's TV one time. I just like that's why it doesn't work. What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it's a hand-me-down piece of shit Hutch, TV. Hutch walked in, but what? So Hutch came in the next morning, turned on the TV, and he was like, "Who hurt you, sweetie?" <laughs> so I was, you know, when the VR was set up in the living room, Hutch. Yeah. Yeah, one time I took a big old swing. I think it was fucking Gorn. Holy shit, I didn't even think about this. <laughs> <laughs> and I took a big old swing at uh, an enemy, and oh man, wow. I, 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 I clipped the TV a bit. Wow, I'm glad you didn't break it. No, I was glad too. You, I was really, I was you really know, angry. that's not the worst, the worst thing that's ever happened to a TV. So, back in college... Okay. Um, someone, I was holding a beer for a friend, and to preface, I don't drink beer, I hate it, I can't do it, mm-hmm. for those who don't yeah. know, you guys know. So, uh, someone, uh, decided to be a cool dude and tap the top of the glass. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And then it started foaming up, and I, I was like, well, I'm not fucking, like, drinking this, so I put my thumb over it, and then it just <laughs> spewed, <laughs> and it spewed on my yeah. friend's TV. <laughs> That's amazing. And I, and I was just like, oh, no. <laughs> Thankfully, at the time, it was a CRT television. No, it Nothing was like happened. one of his new LCT TVs. Oh, no. Nice. He, he eventually got it swapped out with another one. Did it break um, it? From, some, from somewhere. No, it didn't break. I don't think it broke it. I don't think it hurt it. But it was still like the stress. still so sticky forever. Yeah. I... Yeah, I I don't remember. I just remember yeah, that a sticky TV. It, it was eventually <laughs> traded out with another one. Ugh. So, so Hutch, a happy actually, ending eventually. Uh, Hutch, I'm actually surprised that you didn't talk about this because we talked about it earlier. But we've been both been thinking about the Panzer Dragoon Saga uh, potential remake that might be coming up. Oh yeah, that uh, yeah, that's be, be, go ahead. Uh, because that game can um, so apparently Japanese developers used to delete their codes after they were done d- uh, yeah, like making done. video games. Delete. So they would just clean up their computers. So the master code for Panzer Dragoon Saga and several other games from that time and before are gone. They're just gone. And, um, and that's why like Kingdom Hearts had so much trouble with all their remakes. Because they had to actually just remake the whole fucking game. That's really funny. So, uh, Panzer Dragoon Saga, and actually all the Panzer Dragoon games are getting remade right now. And uh, hopefully, if Panzer Dragoon, the original game, is successful, they'll all be remade. But um, going back to Guitar Hero, not Guitar Hero, shit. Guitar Hero. Uh, Guitar Hero Man. <laughs> Guitar Hero Man uh, really can't be played right now unless you have a CRT or you have a PSP. It's on PS2 with no HD controls, or it's on uh, PSP, and it's pretty unplayable in every modern sense right now. So it could really, really use the HD upgrade. 
Um, and then, yeah, some of the Amigo, there's way better motion controls now, so, like VR. So I would love to make, like, a VR someday Amigo game. Jairus, you got anything besides Ultra Beasts? Um, so one of the few games that I feel nostalgia for um, was released uh, as out of this out of this world in the United States okay. and something else internationally to the Googs. So we recently at work, um, I'm sure everyone... Who, another world. Oh, another world? Didn't we? Um, yes. Yeah, we did another yeah, world. Yeah, we did another world, but I think we just did a port of it. But that's that's a re-release. Yeah. That's a port. Yeah. Like yeah. a remake? It wasn't like a remake. That, so like like that all hand has... animation kind of thing or something like that? So, so like Flashback did. Flashback had a proper remake. Okay. So that, that would be the... Wait, Flashback got a proper remake? It did, yeah. What the fuck? Because that was going to be the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> I actually didn't so know those, about that those either. Those are like two of the only platform games that I enjoyed. Okay. I'm actually surprised to hear you say that. For me, like the other games that were very similar to that were like Prince of Persia. Um, I liked Prince of Persia as well. Um, but I but Prince of Persia's gotten remakes on the PlayStation Two. Yeah, and <clears throat> I personally prefer those versions. Um, they feel more like action adventure instead of platformers. So for my for me, despite the God uh, Smack, played, sorry. <laughs> I played Prince of Persia on the first computer that I ever owned, which was a Mac 2. Okay, yeah. And we had the floppy disk for it, but we didn't have the manual. Oh, and boy. And there was a certain point in Prince of Persia 2 where as an anti-piracy measure, they had this room and it was like, okay, drink the potion that is the third letter of the second word in the fourth paragraph of page 31 oh, of the manual. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Yep. So I just never got past that part. So I don't have like while I have a deep fondness of Prince of Persia, mm -hmm. um, I never beat it because <laughs> of that. I can see that. Uh, so I always had trouble with those games because they were very and extremely like uh, touch and go. You had to play it, fuck up, do it again, fuck up, do it again, fuck up to yeah. like get there. And granted, a lot of games I do love are like that, but I just always had trouble with um, those games. Once you know it, though, you know it. You like you get them memorized, and you can fly through those games. Yeah i I had a hard time with that, um, <clears throat> like that that kind of mechanic. I much preferred, like I didn't. I didn't like games where there was only one way to win. Okay, yeah. Or like mm -hmm. one way to get past a thing and you had to learn and memorize that one thing. Mm -hmm. um, I much preferred games that either didn't have a specific way to win or had like a, a flexible thing that allowed you to kind of understand it. So you didn't have to be like pixel perfect, but you could learn patterns and things like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and I recognize that I'm describing most platformers, <laughs> but like that's that's why I got into RTSs and first person shooters more than platformers. Well, speaking of platformers, there's a giant rumor going right now that Nintendo is getting ready to remake every 3D Mario game for the 35th anniversary of Ooh, Mario. I'm excited for and Mario that, 64. Exactly. I, I feel like we got a taste of that at the end of Mario Odyssey. Mm hmm. Um, and it looked really awesome, so it would be cooler to keep delving in that direction. Well, that's what I was going to ask. Is... Wait, I don't think there's a Wario game that's included in that. A Wario game that what? Would be included in that. No. If they're only remaking 3D. Wario. Yeah, all of the, all of the WarioWare game or not WarioWare, but Wario World games are all 2D. Although, they did Wario World 4 on the Wii is one of the best looking games uh, ever. It's all hand drawn. It's amazing looking. But, um... Wait, wait a second. You're confusing me with these, the names. You said mm -hmm. Wario World? Yeah. Or Wario Land. My bad. 
Are, are we talking? Okay, we're talking about Wario. We're not talking about Mario games. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, okay. uh, we jumped from Mario to Wario. <laughs> <laughs> we just further confused. Then fizzled you. <laughs> but no. What? What is? What? Uh, Mario three D Mario game are you looking for? Michelle forward to the was most? talking about Mario games being remade, and I was expressing anger that Wario games weren't being remade. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. All right. I never uh, played any of the Wario games. Are they good? I got you, fam. I don't think I have either, uh, except for Wario. They are all <laughs> fantastic. Um, my favorite one, oddly enough, is the VR one. Uh, by VR, I mean Virtual Boy. Uh, so, virtual yeah, Boy, I was about really? to say, bro. <laughs> no, the, the Wario game on uh, Virtual Boy is fantastic. It's the one. only good one. <laughs> the best way to play it, though, is emulation. Mm, okay. It's a fantastic game. So it's on a screen and not actually like directly in front of your eyes. Yeah, yeah. Do not it. play it on a Virtual Boy. Just play it on an emulation <laughs> uh, system. <laughs> like, okay. Just emulate it. It's you'll never see me say that in any other situation. I think, but yeah, it's the best way to play it. Oh no, the one game I'm looking forward to would probably be like Super Mario Sunshine. While it still looks great now. Um, I would like to see what they could do with that. Yeah. So one of my... F- Luigi's Mansion. That's actually on the list. Just kidding. They made Luigi's Mansion <laughs> too. One of my and favorite three. games they actually did recently remake, and that was all the Crash Bandicoot games. Okay. So I was really happy, especially that first one. That's that's my jam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. they remade it, and it's awesome. So. I went through the Spyro games, too, because the pack we bought came with the yeah, Spyro the trilogy, Spyro. too, and it was yeah, awesome. Yeah, Spyro as well. All right. Well, I um, am uh, I am excited for the potential for more Resident Evil remakes. So, so which they one threw do you out think a- going to do next? Um, I would really like for Code Veronica to be the next one, but I have a feeling they're going to do maybe Zero or a proper remake of the first one. Or, or mm-hmm. well, I mean, they did remake it once; they could do it again. Um, I would really, yeah, I would like Code Veronica. I mean, that's like it's kind of like the last one between then and four. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, fingers crossed. All right. Well, does anyone got anything else, or we're just going to go ahead and knock this one out? I think I'm good. Bye, bye, bye everybody. <laughs> Subscribe, like, I, comment. Oh, Hutch just got something. <laughs> I want a remake to Sewer Shark. Thank you for <laughs> thank you. Thank you for do listening you, and watching my podcast. <laughs> bye bye. Do you want a remake or do you want a remastered port like all the other like uh, ones that have been yes. released? That yes. That one. <laughs> okay. Yes. I didn't think you wanted them to go out and make I want to shoot remake. the tubes. Okay. I want a Mortal Kombat two remake. Just two. Yeah. All right. Would would you want that remake to have uh, people to be dressed uh, or digitized again? Ooh, no, yeah. I want the art to be the way it is now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Bye, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you again uh, next week for episode seventeen of Heat Wave. Bye. bye. Actually, actually, I want now. I want Mortal Kombat in VR so that when you get a fatality done, <laughs> so I can punch more walls. You can punch punch more walls. <laughs> and for first person fatalities. Oh man! Sorry, I, I just don't want bro- uh, Michelle to end the podcast. Crying, <laughs> but it's it's like it's that video capture where it's actual people, so you're just like. St- Stabbing. <laughs> You're like, oh, no. <laughs> it's so real. Wow. That's great. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>